You know, I can't believe it. Our last day here and nothing's gone wrong. Well, what do you expect? I'm in charge. I didn't see you there. Are you all right? Yeah, fine. Thank you. Fine, yes. Fortunately, he landed on his head. Uh, oh, good. Good. Uh, now, I'm glad I've got you both together because, well, there's something I wanted to say to you. We're fired. What are you talking about? He said it was his fault. Uh, no, no, I've not come to fire you. Uh, I've come to say thanks. Thanks? Yes, well, with Uncle Mervyn being away, I thought I'd have to close the shop, but uh, you two have managed brilliantly. When he gets back, he'll realise that Chuckle's been in charge. Let's hope not. Well, I'll have to go and pick him up from the station. Uh, would you mind putting these books out for me? Uh, now, they're very valuable. <laughs> that one's a thousand years old. Is it? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> very good. Uh, I'll be off then. Yeah, well, don't worry. Everything's in safe hands. Is somebody coming in to help, then? What's next? How to make a million pounds. Hey, let's have a look. Write a book called How to Make a Million Pounds. Good idea. Business sex, I think. Where's that? I went there yesterday. Which way did you go? This way. Came down here. Round here. Up here. Come on, then. Along here. Up here. Why did you come out here? Because I was lost. What's next? Last one. Ye spells of old ye England. What section does that go under? Well, let me see. This doesn't make sense. Cometh all witching of ye bold and ye great. Heed my warning, maketh me not wait. Open ye portal to ye place where he resides, and bringeth Merlin the Magnificent here to my side. If that bloke thinks he can spell, he can thinketh again. <laughs> Must have been a train. In a bookshop? It might have been a book on trains. Can you smell something funny? No, but I can smell something serious. I am here! Summoned me. I think I know where the smell's coming from, Paul. We can't have this. We can't. We'll lose all our customers. We will. We're going to have to say something. We will. Go on, then, tell him. What happened to the way? Just go on, tell him, and be gentle. He's a customer. We don't want him going off. I think he might have gone off already. Be subtle. Don't worry. How do you do? Have you had a wash recently? A wash? I wash regularly. Why? I washed only last month. It's worse than I thought, Paul. Leave this to me. I'll get rid of him. And see if he can let some air in here. Right. I assume you want to book for yourself. Can't have many friends. Hey, Art, there's a good one. You can have it for nothing. I, Goodbye. I don't want anything. I was summoned. I am Merlin. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? I've opened the window. How's the customer? He's not a customer, Barry. This is Uncle Merlin. Merlin. And the timing of this summons is most unfortunate. I was in the middle of a complicated curse. Oh, I did a curse once. I didn't know that. GCSE music. They threw me out for passing notes. What kind of note? A beef fat and a semi -quip. Oh, I have no time to waste on fools and idiots. Me neither. Hey, just a minute. Where do you think you're going? We can't have you going electric on us. Don't you mean eclectic? Whatever. Gentlemen, I really must protest. Merlin the Magnificent does not work in shops. Send me back immediately. Don't be ridiculous. You've only just arrived. Actually, we might be going the wrong way. Which way do you think it is, Barry? I think it's back that way. In that case, it must be this way. After you, Uncle Merlin. Oh. Gentlemen, my name is Merlin, not Mervyn. And I am the greatest wizard that has ever lived. Oh, can you put broken windows back together? <laughs> don't encourage him. He's not really a wizard. You don't believe me? <laughs> Very well, then. Behold, 
The power of my staff. Oh, must be a customer. Red fire glow, bright sun strong. Cease thy work, and light be gone! Night withdraw. Now do you believe me? No question. You're a wizard, all right. <laughs> False alarm. Come on, then. Show us this magic of yours. But I just showed you. It was amazing. He made it go all dark. Well, I can do that. Look. No. Magic. No, electric. Ah, but he didn't use a switch. He just waved his staff. Well, he probably hit the light with it, didn't he? He didn't. Go on, show him. Do something else. Oh. Uh-oh. Power of light and dark. Keep me sane. Prove my skills and make it rain. Hey, you could make a fortune as a weatherman. What's going on? He made it rain indoors. It's magic. Sprinklers, more like. Now, look here. I'm beginning to lose my patience with you, Mervyn. No, he did it with his wand. That's not a wand. It's a broom handle. Look. You can shake it about if you like. Oh, oh. Can you put that down, please? Well, I'll put it down, all right. Thank goodness for that. As soon as Mervyn's finished tidying up, now using this, you can push everything into that corner. Well, why haven't you started? Because the job's finished. Well, I didn't mean everything, did I? It wasn't him, it was the staff. What? This thing? <laughs> now, look, there's some work to be done here. I want to see all those books there, on that shelf up there. Come on, there's no hiding from hard work. We're not hiding from that. Look. <laughs> there you go, Mervyn. You're quite quick when you put your mind to it. It was you. Me? Don't be stupid. How could I have done that so fast? What do you think I am? Some kind of giant worker ant? Although sometimes I wish I was. I... I, I don't do ants. Can you turn him back again? Oh, do you really want me to? I prefer him like this. No, he's got six legs. He'd have a nightmare buying trousers. Oh, very well then. I'll reverse the spell, but there is a price. What's that? You must do as I ask and send me back home. Hang on. If you're a wizard, why can't you send yourself back home? Ah, but the spell must be read by the man who cast the summoning spell. Ah, well, in that case, you got to change him back. Paul read the spell. Mm. Man to fly, fly to man. Time to break the chain. Power of the staff, turn this fly back to man again. <laughs> Do you know, I've got the strangest urge to go and sit on a dung heap. <laughs> you must fulfil your promise. What promise? I promised you'd read the spell and send him home. Well, what'd you do that for? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Anyway, if he is Uncle Mervyn, there'd be no harm in reading the spell because nothing has happened. That's true. And we can clean up afterwards. Exactly. Although I've got no idea how we'll get that locked down. Oh. Well, here goes nothing. Unicorn Wild and Mountain Dragon Tame. Send Merlin the Magnificent back from whence he came. Hey, hey, where are you going? Let him go, Paul. We can't do that. What will Mr. Grey say if we lose his uncle? Oh! I don't think we're in the bookshop anymore. Of course we are. It's just a room that we haven't been in before. I think we're in Camelot. Don't be silly. It's just a big cupboard with uh, flags and candles and things. 
What makes you think we're in Camelot? Well, here's the round table. And here's the throne. This is not Camelot. Are you going to tell King Arthur or shall I? Who disturbs the peace of King Arthur of Camelot? Oh, well, that settles it. At last. We're definitely still in the bookshop. What? Yeah, that's Mr Grey. He's obviously dressed up, ready for Uncle Mervyn's welcome home party. I'm not sure. I've got some good news and some bad news for you. The good news is we've found Uncle Mervyn. The bad news is we've lost him. What are you talking about? Who is this Mr Grey and Uncle Mervyn you speak of? You know Uncle Mervyn. Thinks he's a wizard. Keeps shaking his wand about like this. My robes! How did that happen? I keep telling you, it's that staff, it's magic. What, you mean to say, I could tell this bloke to turn into a frog and he would? <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Guards! Seize them! Don't worry, I've got a plan. Yes? Run! <laughs> okay, Paul, come on. Oh, wait. Oh dear. It's me. There you are. Guards! Ooh. It doesn't look good, Paul. I think it's time you face the fat belly. We're not in the bookshop anymore. What? It may be a shock to your system, but we're actually in Camelot. And Uncle Mervyn is a magician. Oh! May I be of assistance? Send us home, please. Send you home? How can I do that? With your magic powers. Magic powers? But I have no magic powers. I'm plain old Uncle Mervyn, remember? Yeah, I think there was a slight misunderstanding there. But you're really Merlin the Magician. What did you say? You're Merlin the Magician. Ah, at last. We are agreed on that. Go home, strange man. Be gone. <laughs> Are we back? I think so. Hello, Paul. Barry, hello. Ah, oh, there you are. Oh, I must say, you've made a fine job of the shop. Everything looks perfect. Uh, right. Good. Uh, no problems, I assume? Oh, no problems at all. Isn't that right, Barry? None at all. <laughs> Uncle, are you there? I am here! Uncle, oh, these are the two fellas I was telling you about. Ah! Ah! What's next? I've dropped the box. <laughs> Rubbish. What would you do that for? Because... What's that line you again? You may have told you. That's the one. That's the one. The door should be shut. <laughs> uh, We're definitely still in the bookshop. What? Yes. That's old, um, you know, what's his name? Not Mr. Gray. It is, you know him now. Is it? Yes, look, he's got a beard on him. <laughs> <laughs>